folks, it's just it's, it's a plug. I don't... It was a normal day. As normal as it could be, given my situation. My name is John Gillespie. For the last three years, I've been a personal trainer at a local gym. I get up and prepare myself for another day of what someone would say is my job. In truth, I love it. It's enjoyable. My wife says I'm an inspiration to others, but if they knew the truth, they wouldn't see my physique as an accomplishment. I don't. When I met Christine, she was very well guarded, emotionally and physically. Most likely because of her father's newly appointed position as Secretary of Defense. We started dating in college, and soon after our junior year, we were engaged. We were married that following spring. A minivan. Yes, because sooner or later I'm sure that we'll be having kids, and I think it'd be a really good idea to plan ahead. And even if that doesn't happen, then you can take your equipment to customers. I don't know. What do you think? Well, you know what I think, honey. I think that I love you. And I will see you later. Be safe. Always. I'm just taking the Bijou Trail. Bye. Bye. And that brings us to now. What would really shock my wife is that I'm not a fitness trainer at all. I work for a private military contractor. Some call me a soldier for hire, others a mercenary. I don't recall exactly how I got into this business. I've been eliminating targets for years. Eventually, it becomes as natural as breathing. But I must admit, I've been thinking about it a lot lately. I was put in this exact location until given the orders to proceed with the mission. I don't enjoy killing. I don't think I ever have. But it's what I'm good at. And once you've taken a job, you don't have much of a choice. My handler always says that free will is an illusion. People always choose the perceived path of greatest pleasure. And I think that's a quote from Scott Adam. I could think about this for days, rework the philosophers, but I'm out of time. Well, Christine Gillespie, or should I say, Christine Wake, your father, the Secretary of Defense, has upset some very powerful people. He was warned he would regret his decision. Unfortunately, we'll have to dispose of you to make our point clear. As I was looking into the face of my target, I realized that my two lives were, perhaps, one. There's no way she was just a mark. She was my wife. C.S. Lewis once said, God made free will. Though it makes evil possible, also makes possible any love or goodness or joy worth having. I think I heard Christine say that once. Just go. I'll explain everything later. Don't be an idiot, John. You really think you have a choice in all this? Everyone has a choice. <laughs>